Hello, hello again, and welcome in to Purple Penguin Craft Room. I'm Vicki. Uh, today is going to be, um, I want to call this hot plates, uh, but they're also known as trivets, or something that you can place hot food on um, and not burn your table or tablecloth or countertops, that kind of thing. Um, I am going to kind of gear this towards fall Thanksgiving, but you can use this method and do year-round um, or uh, any other specific holidays you want to decorate your table um, without having to actually get like a, de a rag out or, you know, um, whatever else you may <laughs> use to put hot things on. I'm going to kind of go over some of the things that we're going to be using. This is really simple, really quick. Uh, really would make a really cute gift as well. Um, and then, you know, we'll get started. Like I said, pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, great gift idea. Um, we're going to start with fabric. Fabric. I absolutely love, love, love this fabric. Um, it's got acorns and leaves and the oranges are great. Um, but we're going to be using this. Um, we're going to be using these. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. They, they look like trivets or, or hot plates or whatnot. They have like a texture on them. Uh, which is weird though because Dollar Tree labels them as a cutting board, which is very strange to me um, that that's how they have it labeled as a cutting board when um, I don't foresee using them as a cutting board, but I mean, what, whatever. <laughs> it's not my store, it's not my item. Um, like I said, it's a Dollar Tree thing, um, but they, like I said, they do have like a texture. You can see they, they have like a texture on them. They have these little nubbies on the bottom so that they're not directly on the surface. Um, but, and then we're also going to be using some Mod Podge. Um, so, like I said, super easy, super quick, uh, super simple. Um, let's jump right in and get started. We're going to jump right into getting started with this. I already unwrapped this one, so it is completely unwrapped. It's got these little, the little nubs on the bottom corners and we're going to save those uh, but we are also going to need to take them off. This is just a paint scraper and if you can get under the corner under it you can lift them right up. They come off. Like I said, um, hang on to them because uh, we're going to put them back on. All right. Uh, it's always good to clean. This is glass so it's always good to kind of clean your surface with um, um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, um, just to make sure it's a clean surface. We're going to take our fabric. I absolutely love this fabric. And we're going to place it down. And you want to place it so as a smooth side, which they claim is, you know, the, the back side, the underneath, because that's where we took off the little nubs. And then there's a rough side to it. Um, I kind of like this rough side to still be the top, uh, so if I set anything on it, it's not going to be like super slick or anything. I kind of like that. So we're going to make sure this is face down, and our fabric you want to face down as well, because we want fabric to show up underneath. You can see where I'm going with this. So now we're going to cut out our fabric. Right around. If you want to draw this out first or trace it, you could totally do that too. It's totally up to you. However, you want to do it. And then, obviously, I'll just make sure that we got all the fabric. If you are doing, um, I guess it. Well, no, it doesn't matter. It's a complete square. I was gonna say it. It might matter which direction you're facing, but um, really, it kind of doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't. So. We're just going to take our Mod Podge and oh, this thing on it. Um, I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to use my jar here. And a big brush. I use my paint brushes, but um, no big deal. Um, it, 
I wash my paintbrushes after I'm done. You want to go a little heavy because this is fabric and Mod Podge dries quickly. So try to make sure you get all the way up to the edges. Like I said, you got to work kind of quickly. Again, like I said, Mod Podge does dry quickly. So uh, keep that in mind. All the way to the edges. It's important to get your edges. All right. Remember, face down. And you want to smooth it out. This is a thicker fabric too, so I'm not worried about it uh, wrinkling or anything like that. Um, it, like I said, it is a, actually a thicker fabric, which is kind of nice. So there's no wrinkles or anything like that. How cool is that, right? That's super, super nice. Now, we're just going to take our scissors and kind of clean it up. And we're just going to go to a certain point. Um, actually, you know, I am going to end up... I know it's fabric, and you could do this with paper too. You could do this with cardstock, or um, you have a, a scrapbook paper that you really like. You know, if you want to put words on it or anything like that, you could definitely do that as well. Um, I would recommend, obviously you're going to have to do your words on here, I mean, flip it, do the words first before you do your background, so you can see the words, because if you do the words after the background, you're not going to be able to see them. I said, I'm not able to get super close to this, but there's okay, there is a method to my madness. Trust me, it's not going to stay this way. Okay, so obviously I did not get a clean edge out of that, um, but it's okay. We're going to bring in sandpaper. So we're going to bring in sandpaper. Like I said, we're going to treat this just like it was paper. And just sand it down. sand down not back because if you sand this direction it's going to pull it back off the board and you don't want it to do that so. and it makes a nice clean smooth edge okay so all my edges are smooth and soft and it's pretty much dry underneath for the most part. You can tell the dry the glue hasn't dried totally, but for the most part it will be drying um, just like that. I know it's kind of shiny. Um, last thing we're going to do is those little nubs that we took off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our craft tacky glue and put them right back on in the corners so that way they are not uh, this this is not completely resting on um, your table surface or counter surface or wherever you might use this It'll make them look a little more professional too and tell people you made it it's always fun And then now those are on, and it can just sit like this, and you can, with glass, so you can put hot things on it, and um, this, these are some that I made last year with some uh, different fabric. I absolutely love these. It's kind of, again, fall Thanksgiving colors and that kind of stuff. 
Um, definitely keep coming back for some more videos. Let people know you found uh, me at the Purple Penguin Craft Room. And happy crafting.